Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's tutorial, we're gonna make the string for the yo-yo. We're gonna learn how to use Maya's curve tool, how to make an object live so we can attach a curve to an object, and then finally, how to adjust the points of the curve afterwards to get the geometry looking the way we want. Um, lots of good stuff, let's jump right in. Okay, so here we are back inside of Maya. Let's model this, um, the string for the yo-yo. First thing I'm gonna do is turn on wireframe on shaded and um, I'm gonna turn back on the grid as well. And let's move the vertices of the top of the yo-yo back up because we're going to actually make this object live, which means we can snap the curve points to the object and, and this ground plane as well. So. Um, let's go into the side view and let's go into vertex mode and just drag select box select these vertices and move it back up just about here is fine go back to your perspective view and now um, we want to combine these two objects so I'm selecting the yo-yo shift selecting the ground plane and I'm going to combine it with this button and uh, Let's now um, make this a live object. So go up here, select this icon, and now it's live. And um, go under the Create tab and choose Curve Tools, CV Curve Tool. All right. Now the method that we'll be extruding later on will take into account how many points we lay down. So we're going to lay down points every second um, edge loop here. So I'm going to cl click there, click here. And I'm going to start orbiting around this yo-yo and start laying down these loops, these uh, points, I should say. And if you make a mistake or you lay down a point where you don't want to, just press delete and that'll delete your last point. If you press escape, you'll have to start over. And once I get all the way around in a second here, I'm going to start uh, moving my points around the outside of this first loop. Oops. Just go here. And right about here is fine. I just want to um, go on the outside of that to hide the inside of that um, part, which will be the string. Um, the reason for that is um, we can disguise how it attaches to the yo-yo. And I'm going to put a couple points here, and then I'm going to put a point on the ground as well. Somewhere there we can work. And we're just going to start moving this around here. We're not going to make um, a, a knot that will make this tutorial too long, but you'll have all the information you need um, in this tutorial to make a knot if you want to. Also, I'm laying a couple points on either side of this um, this curve here, this part of the curve, um, so that we can lift it up later on. So, all right. And then once you finish, um, just press enter. And now we have this um, string or this curve that will be a string. Okay, now we want to extrude some geometry along that curve. So first I'm going to select our um, live object and disable it. And then I'm going to hide it. So I'm selecting it, press H on the keyboard to hide it. And now let's put a cylinder into the scene. So I'm selecting the cylinder. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. So pressing E, holding down J, just rotating it. And then I want to reduce the geometry of the cylinder. So I'm going to press T on the keyboard. And I'm going to choose, um, for a subdivision axis, 8. And then um, let's delete half of the cylinder. So I'm going to go into face mode, select, box selecting those faces and pressing delete. All right, now let's go back into object mode and pressing W to go into the move tool. And you can see that um, the pivot of it is um, off because we deleted half of our cylinder or most of it. So just press this icon to reset it. And then what we want to do is just scale this down. And I want to move it to this the start of this curve. And to do that, 
press W to go into your move tool. And if any of your arrows are highlighted, like for right now, this arrow is highlighted yellow, right? Just press W again to reset it. That way, when we snap to the curve, it doesn't try and snap along that axis. All right, so now hold down C and middle mouse the curve, and it'll snap to it. And if you don't let go of um, the middle mouse and move, it'll actually move along that curve. We just want to move it to the start of the curve. There we go. And now we want to scale this down um, roughly to about here. If we if we want, we can even bring back the yo-yo just to see. So I'm selecting the cylinder, pressing H to unhide it, just to see the size of um, what will be our string. But I think that looks pretty good. Maybe a tad smaller. All right. So now let's um, hide our yo-yo again. And we want to select the faces of this object. And then shift select your curve and then extrude. So edit mesh, extrude. All right, so it's extruded from the start of the curve to the end, and we can increase the subdivisions. And if we don't have enough subdivisions, we can just manually input a num number in here. I'm gonna put 100, and that should be fine for our curve. And, um, all right, so now let's um, select our object. So go into object mode. Select your um, string now, and under Mesh Display, we can reverse those normals, because right now mine are black. And then um, we can also soften those edges, so go under Mesh Display, Soften Edge. There we go. And what we can do now is, um, let's bring back our cylinder, or our yo-yo, I should say. Um, we can move this object so that it better sits with our um, geometry because right now because our points were on the surface when extruded half of our string is inside the mesh and we can fix that by going to the curve and going into the control vertex and moving those so we can do that by just turning on x-ray mode and then what you want to do is um, hold down the right mouse button over anywhere on the viewport that's not over geometry and you'll be able to access the control vertex and then what I want to do is just drag select all of these, right? So I have all those points. Press W and move it up. Oops, I missed one. So I'm just going to box select that one, that one as well, move it up. Looks like I missed another one. All right, there we go. That's better. Um, wow, missed another one. Okay, so let me try this again. Box selecting all of these. There we go. And moving it up. You will notice, though, that um, you can't move the, the start of the curve. So this extrusion method, you can't um, move that point. So we'll need to manually move that geometry later. But for now, we can just move this up. So I'm just going to eyeball this roughly so that it's sitting. If it's hard to see, just go into the side view or the front view. Frame in and move it about here. That works. Okay. And then what we want to do is go back to here and then move some of these points as well. Um, just going to box select these. I'm going to go out of um, x-ray mode for this one. I'm just going to move this out and slightly up. Um, turning back on x-ray mode, maybe grabbing a couple of these and moving these as well. So you can see how we can manipulate the um, the geometry by just changing the curve afterwards. So it allows you to make um, strings, pipes, wires, um, and in this case, um, even knots. So we're not going to make a knot in this, but you have pretty much all the information you, you'll need in this tutorial to make a knot if you want to. Now I want to take um, this part of the curve and move it above the other one. So I just need to find those um, control vertexes and just lift this up. There we go. Maybe a bit more. And then um, let's go out of x-ray mode and take a look. Um, we also need to move um, all of these off the ground plate as well. So box selecting all of this to grab all those points and just lift it up. Again, we can go into the side view or the front view on this one 
and just take a look at it. And there we go. So you can see how that live tool makes it very convenient to lay everything flat, but we just need to adjust it later. Um, or not flat, the live tool allows you to um, attach to a surface. Yeah. And then um, that's pretty much it for this. Um, the way the yo-yo, by the way, wraps around um, this. Oh yeah, we need to move this geometry. Let's, let's do this. Um, go into here. So we're gonna select our curve, or sorry, our cylinder now, and just delete the history. Now we can delete the curve. And then what we can do is just um, isolate this. So what I'm gonna do is isolate it, take some of this geometry. So I'm gonna grab these vertices. And then I'm just gonna move these up. Just roughly here. Um, that should be fine. And then um, we'll go out of the isolation mode. And now we have just going to turn off the grid. We have our yo-yo, which we can separate from the ground plane again. So mesh separate. And we can select it, grab these top vertices, and bring it back down just so that it houses the string. I think that looks pretty good like that. And now we have a yo-yo and a string without a knot, so it doesn't have the proper yo-yo loop. But um, for the most part, we can fake a knot by adding a couple cylinders here if we want, or a couple toruses. And um, let's take a look. So here we have this, turning off wireframe on shaded. And we have our yo-yo and the yo-yo string. So you'll be able to make everything, but knot is pretty simple if you want to make it. You just um, find out what kind of knot you want to make, tie it around, move the control vertex. It's all the same stuff. So hopefully this has helped you guys out. All right, so that is how you model the string for the yo-yo and make other curved objects. Um, if this has helped you out and you're able to learn something new, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe if you haven't, and we will see you in the next video. See you guys soon.